Hey, what's up guys, Mike here, and today I will be showing you how to flash MIUI 8 onto your Nexus 6P. Now, if you are interested in a review of this ROM, I actually did one recently for the OnePlus 3, which will basically give you the same overall experience. So you can go ahead and click on the top right hand corner video if you wish to view that. Otherwise, go down to the video's description below, grab all the files necessary, transfer them over to your Nexus 6P, and let's begin the flash tutorial. Now I am assuming you already have unlocked your Nexus 6P's bootloader and have TWRP installed as your custom recovery. If you do not, I will have a link in the description below to help you accomplish that process. Otherwise, make sure you are in fact booted into recovery, and from here we can begin the flash process. One of the first steps will be to wipe your previous firmware, so make your way to advanced wipe, make sure you select everything but the internal storage, confirm with swipe to wipe, and then press the home button. Double check to make sure your system is in fact mounted, and then you will select install. Once inside install, you are going to locate your MIUI 8 full OTA zip file, then you will full swipe into a confirm flash. This will take a few minutes to complete, but once it is finalized, you can go ahead and reboot into your bootloader so we can flash the vendor file from the description found below. From here, make sure that your Nexus 6P is connected to your PC, launch your command prompt or ADB fastboot, type in the usual fastboot flash vendor followed by the vendor image supplied, and execute that command accordingly. Once this is flashed over and is completed, you can go ahead and reboot your device either from ADB fastboot or from the device itself. Now on the first initial boot, it will take MIUI roughly 6 to 10 minutes to complete, and once that process is finalized, you can go ahead and run yourself through the MIUI 8 setup wizard, and once that is complete, go ahead and reboot your device into recovery mode. At this point in TWRP, you will go to install, select the Super CU, and swipe to confirm flash, and then you will reboot the device again. Once you are back up and running, go into your settings, locate your permissions, followed by allow root access, tap understand root, then tap on root access. This will give you an error, but you can simply ignore that, then hit the home button, and you will proceed by uninstalling the SuperSU from the home screen. After that process has completed, locate the tools folder, open the Explorer application, navigate to your storage, and then find and locate your APK files that you downloaded from the description and put on your Nexus device. From here, you will first install Titanium Backup. This will be used to confirm root and possibly restore or back up your applications later on. Once Titanium is done, you can then install Root Explorer, which we will use in a little bit later process. Finally, we will finish with installing the Google Keyboard. Now, once your keyboard is installed, you will navigate your way into additional settings, followed by Language and Input, select Current Keyboard, tap Choose Keyboards, toggle Google Keyboard on, and toggle MIUI Keyboard off. Confirm that the keyboard is in fact working, and once you have confirmed that, go ahead and reboot your device for one last time into recovery mode. At this point in TWRP, you will be selecting the MIUI 8 GAP zip file. This will be used to install the Google Play services and Google Play Store. And once that is completed, you can then reboot your device for the final time. Once you are back up and running, locate and launch the Root Explorer application, navigate your way to the data directory, followed by the local directory, and then tap on user init and execute the script. After that, you can launch the Google Play Store and put in your necessary Google account credentials. And after that, you should be able to download and restore your Android applications. And that pretty much sums it up. This should, in fact, give you a working MIUI 8 ROM for your Nexus 6P with the Google Play Store working and the Google Keyboard working as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it to be helpful. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Check the description down below for any resources needed. Feel free to leave feedback in the comment section down below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.